Hi everyone, Ryan here with Fight Game Analysis, and today we are going to be talking about the upcoming fight between Caleb Plant and Anthony Durrell. But before we jump into that, if you've been enjoying the content, please go ahead and click on the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate your support. All right, so it was recently announced we've got a fight coming up between Caleb Plant and Anthony Durrell. Now, as soon as I heard this one, the first thing I thought was, this makes a lot of sense for both men, okay? On the one hand, we've got Anthony Durrell. Now look, I'm just going to come out there and say it. At this point in his career, I think the man's a gatekeeper. He already run the belt twice at 168 pounds, wasn't able to defend it, right? He wins the belt in the first fight that he comes out to defend, ends up losing it both times. One time to Badu Jack, one time to David Benavidez. 37 years old now, not looking at the best in his career, not at his absolute peak. I think he's come off of that peak a little bit, and like I said, right now I think he's at a gatekeeper point in his career. So it makes a lot of sense because Caleb Plant's coming off the biggest fight in his career against Canelo. So on the one hand, Anthony Durrell fights him probably going to be the biggest payday that's available for him right now. Not necessarily saying the biggest payday of his career, but if all of the available fights right now today, probably the biggest payday. And then number two, imagine he comes out and gets the win. Imagine he's able to come out and upset the apple cart and beat Caleb Plant. That is going to immediately put him right back in the mix, talking about him against potentially all of the best in the world at 168 pounds. So for him, there is a lot of motivation for this fight. And then Caleb Plant, on the other hand, He's been going back and forth a little bit with David Benavidez, right? You could tell that that's, that's a fight that they're teasing. That's a fight that we've been hearing in the media as potentially being available for later on in the year. We got David Benavidez currently signed to fight David Lemieux, so it makes perfect sense for Caleb Plant to take a fight in the meantime. And you think about it, Anthony Durrell, he's a name. Everybody knows him, former two-time former two -time belt holder. But at the same time, he's past the peak in his career, so he's not, as, he's not like super dangerous, certainly not as dangerous as the last man you were in against against Canelo. So you get a so if you're Caleb Plant, you get a payday, you fight a name opponent, you're staying busy, but your chance of loss isn't nearly as great as if you were fighting some other guys. Sounds like the perfect fight for you to set up something for David Benavidez later in the year. Right? So when you look at it from that point, this fight makes perfect sense for both men. Now, let's talk a little bit about, about their styles, right, and what it'll look like in the ring. Because when I first heard that, that, you know, that was the first thing I thought it was about how it made sense for both men. But then right away, I started to think about the technical aspect and how it was going to look from the fight standpoint. Now, you look at Anthony Durrell, counterpunch. That's what he prefers to do. He wants to go in there and counterpunch. And he doesn't like counterpunch, super technical, doesn't counterpunch and try to, like, work behind the jab. He's explosive. He's physical, kind of crafty. Tries to figure out ways to get his shots off. Sometimes he loops them. Sometimes he gets them straight. And, and, and when he's at his best, he gets an opponent's rhythm. He gets his timing. He's able to go in there. He's able to, he's able to land his shots. But I'll tell you what, man. He's got some flaws in his game. You know, on the one hand, I don't think he handles the jab all that well. He was in there against Badu Jack, especially early on in that fight. And Jack was able to use that jab effectively. Not only was he able to stifle Durrell's rhythm. He was able to use it to apply pressure and back him up. He was also used it to be able to set up the right hand. That's another thing. I think, I think Anthony Durrell gives up ground too much. I think he's far too comfortable backing up, up to the point of putting his back on the ropes. And I get it because you're a counter puncher. You're trying to wait. You're trying to see. You're trying to catch the rhythm. So typically you want to keep that distance. You don't mind giving up ground to a guy and backing him up. But I think Darrell does it too much. On top of that, he keeps his hands a little bit low so, he's, so guys are able to get those shots in on him. I mean, look at what David Benavidez did. David Benavidez went in there and just straight walked him down. Just straight walked forward, progressed the whole time, just landed his shots, beat him up, and got him out of there. Now, standing across from him, you've got Caleb Plant. Now, when I think about Caleb Plant, very fast hand, very fast feet, pretty good footwork, great jab. I'll be honest with you, man, just off of that alone, I think it's going to give Darrell trouble. You talk about, about a guy with very fast hands, very fast feet, good footwork, and a very good jab. I don't think Darrell's great at handling the jab. I think he's going to get caught with it a lot. I think he becomes a little bit too complacent trying to look for that counter punch. That's just going to give Caleb Plant opportunity to just pepper him with that jab, spin, catch angles, use the footwork. Think about how we saw him against Canelo early in that fight. But here's the difference. Canelo applied the pressure. Canelo walked him down. He was always applying pressure on Plant. So even when Plant was looking good, even when Plant was laying in his jab, he constantly had to work, constantly had to think. He was worried about that big counter punch coming back at him. Darrell doesn't apply pressure like that. And when he does, it's not nearly as effective as we see from a guy like Canelo. 
So what's he going to be able to do when Plant's just lighting him up with that jab? Just constantly scoring points, going, going to the body and going to the head with it. I mean, he can counter jabs, don't get me wrong. I think the most ferocious counter of the jab we saw was in his last fight, right? Goes out there, dude throws that jab, and he just catches him with that beautiful uppercut and takes his head off, right? Now, is he going to be able to do that against Caleb Plant? Doubt it. Doubt it. Caleb Plant is a much more accomplished fighter, right? You look at you look at Durrell, it was almost like every time that he really stepped up to that high level, it was like he couldn't get over that hump and establish himself as, as one of the elite in the division or one of the absolute best, even when he had the belt. Now you look at it, now I'm not saying Caleb Plant is the absolute elite, elite in the division, but he stepped up. You know, the thing that we were knocking him about for so long was his level of competition. Then he stepped up in his very last fight and bought the absolute best in Canelo. And yeah, he lost the fight. What did he win? Three, maybe four rounds. But look at the eye test. You look at what he was able to do, how he was able to move around the ring, how he was able to control things with the jab, and you try to project that out on what's going to happen with Darrell. Man, I think it's going to give him some trouble. You know, this is all going to be about how Darrell is going to be able to handle that jab, how Darrell is going to be able to handle that footwork. If he just goes in and he tries to really lock in on that timing and try to replicate kind of what Canelo did, and when he counters, counter with hard shots and come forward, you know, he could he could make it something. But if he's not doing that, man, whoo, I think it could be trouble for him. I think it could be trouble. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. Am I thinking about this one a little bit wrong? Am I underestimating what Darrell brings to the table? Will he be able to get that time and that rhythm on plant, land those counter shots? Is he going to come out and just put his hands up, try to walk forward and walk him down, start, you know, use his own jab, maybe try to use his own looping right hand, work around the guard and catch plant, throw his rhythm completely off? You know, is Plant going to be able to fight well off the back foot if all of a sudden Darrell decides that he wants to come forward? Only time will tell, right? Let me know what you guys think.